Miss Danielle here and I have a word for you. They can't compete with you. Yes, you may think that you are not qualified. You may think that you're not enough. You may not know your worth yet, but I want to tell you, my friend, you are qualified. So look, the verse for this video is Psalms 139.14 and it reads, I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works and that my soul knoweth right well. So my friend, God tells us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. So guess what that means? That means you are equipped. That means that you are worth more. That means that God is in awe of you. He created you in his likeness. He created you in his image. So he wants you to know that you're beautiful just the way you are. If you feel like you got to change yourself to fit in with other people, don't do it. Just be you. Be authentic. If you feel like your ideas, they're different than everybody else's, so you try not to be as creative as you are, be creative. If you feel like you're not worth what you desire as far as having a relationship, a marriage, a family, a child, um, the proper finances, you need to take care of yourself. Stop doubting yourself because you're worth it. This video is titled, They Can't Compete With You. And some people, they're jealous of your light. They're jealous of the calling on your life. They're jealous of who you are and how you operate and how you're still blessed. You've been through so much, but you still come through. You still show up. The devil has not taken you out. The weapons formed, but they didn't prosper. A lot of people, they can't understand how you're still moving, how you're still going. How you still have motion behind you. Some people, they may be praying against you. That's why it's so important to don't tell everybody your business. Keep your ideas to yourself. Keep your dreams to yourself. Keep your vision to yourself. Keep your goals to yourself. Because a lot of people, they're going to do everything in their power to cancel out your goals. And they're doing this not in a state where they're conscious of it. It's something that is spiritual. A lot of people are being used by the enemy because they're not living right for Jesus Christ. They're not taking up their cross. They're not, you know, denying themselves and dying to the flesh and living a life that glorifies God. So they're being used by the enemy and they do not know this. And I've seen this happen in my family. And I'm talking about close family. I won't say who, but... It's close. They jealous of the goals and the dreams that you have. And you don't know why. They don't know why. But it's the enemy. And when you're not living right for Jesus Christ, when you're not living right for God, God will turn you over to the sin that you have, you know, idolized. So if you can't let go of a sin, if you can't begin to, you know, take up your cross, God will turn you over. He will take his hands off of you. That's why it's so important to not abuse the grace of God. So look, because, you know, they can't compete with you, they are going to hate you without a cause. They're not going to like you. They're going to make it hard for you. The enemy is going to try to do a bunch of things because he knows that you know who you are and who you are. He knows that you know your worth. He knows that if you finally walk into the fullness of who God really called you to be, he's going to have some trouble. The enemy is rounding up his people just like God is rounding up his people. So if God has called you, if God has tapped you on your shoulder, if God has, you know, saved you from whatever it is, don't take that for granted because we don't have much time, my people. Y'all see the world. Y'all see how these people are acting. So it's time for you to pick a side. Whose side are you going to be on? Are you going to be in the kingdom of God or are you going to be in the kingdom of the enemy, Satan's kingdom? Are you going to do that? Because God wants you to be with him. God created you to glorify him. A lot of people don't get that. They don't understand that. They live a life that is selfish. They want to please their flesh. They want to do me, 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 I, 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 we, we, we. I, like, like, they don't want to take up their cross. So you got to think, if you're fearfully and wonderfully made, God created you just how you're supposed to be. You look how you're supposed to look. Your teeth are how they're supposed to look. Your body is how it's supposed to look. The family you came from, that's where you're supposed to have came from. The color of your skin, that's the color of your skin. The way your face looks, is that's how it's supposed to look. Once you begin to settle into who you are and accept yourself for who you are, 
you will feel a lot better about yourself. And guess what? Once you are confident, once you don't have those insecurities, once you accept yourself for who you are and do what you're supposed to do as a man or a woman, that's when God going to start to bless you. You got to think about it. If you're sitting around unconfident, you doubtful, you fearful, you got anxiety, you're not trusting God, you're in a state of worry, you're in a state of fear, how can God bless that? It's almost like you're confused. Do not be confused, my friend. You got to know and understand who God is. You have to know that when you have faith in something and you put the work behind it, it's going to happen. You have to know that. You have to trust God. You have to believe in him. You cannot be a double-minded man because guess what? A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So make up your mind. Pick a side. Stop being insecure. Stop projecting your insecurities on other people. So many times I've been in relationships with different people, friendships and relationships in general, and they projected their insecurities onto me. I'm not an insecure person. I'm really not. I don't care enough to be insecure. You know what I mean? I love myself and I just, I'm a, it is what it is type of person. You know what I'm saying? I'm going off the truth. So if you're a type of person that you're insecure, like you're making up stuff in your mind, you're letting the enemy get to you because that's the enemy at work trying to project insecurities in, onto you in your life. You have to eliminate that. You got to let it go. Don't let those negative thoughts sit too long because when they start to fester, now you're becoming confused. Now you're getting into a state where you're becoming delusional. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not thinking how you need to be. And God wants our minds to be on the right path because everything starts in your mind. So the things that you're thinking about every day, the things that you're pondering on, the things that you're allowing other people to put in your mind as far as you watching certain things, all of this stuff matters. You got to protect your eyes and what's going into your ears because that's going to take um, effect on your spirit. So my friend, you got to let go and let God, you got to let him control everything. And you got to know that the people that surround you, that don't like you, that's trying to make your life hell, they trying to, you know, hurt you. They cannot compete with you because guess what? You are God's. You are a chosen one. You was called from birth. You had a light on your life since you were a child. Some of us may remember when we were kids and we was different. We had favor. We had the favor of God in our lives. And other kids might have been jealous. Other kids might have not have noticed because back then it wasn't like people was not paying attention as much as they are now. People pay so much attention these days and it's a little bit scary. That's why you got to be on guard. That's why you got to pray a prayer of protection. That's why you got to watch out. So just remember this and keep this in mind when you're going through the things that you're going through that they can't compete with you. You are the one, not the two, okay? So look, I pray this video blessed you. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow.